let's take a look at how Adobe Captivate Draft can be used to create storyboards. Launch Captivate Draft. Once you've launched Captivate Draft, you can create a new project from a blank or begin with a project that you've already started. Once you're in the first slide of the first page of your project, you're then free to begin previewing your content. This is preview mode, and you'll note it by the little arrow on the left-hand side. If I click the green arrow on the left-hand side tray, I'll move into edit mode. Notice that on the right-hand side, you'll see a plus symbol. That plus symbol indicates that you can add additional slides to your project. If you just click the plus, you'll add a single blank slide. If you drag the thumb out and to the left, you'll be able to see how to add slides individually, including both blank slides and question slides. I'll click on add blank slide, and then I'll repeat the process and add a question slide. Back in the tray, you can see I've added both a blank and a question slide. In the layout, I'm able to manipulate or move these slides around into different positions. I can click, hold, and drag to change the order or the position of any of these individual slides. I can also copy them or I can delete them. So I have the power to be able to make those changes. As you begin to form your storyboard, it often helps to look at the slides in relationship to one another. On the upper right hand side of the toolbar, you'll see that there's a little robot looking thing. That robot is for the slide layout. It opens up all of the slides in a group. If I tap, I can automatically see all of those slides in the sequence in which they occur. You can introduce interactivity and basic nonlinear navigation into your slide content right inside Captivate Draft. Let's click on to slide number seven and make an editorial change there. On the left-hand toolbar, the top option, now I'll draw an X on the screen to indicate the insertion of an image. This image can be edited by clicking on the image and then choosing the edit mode. You can see the camera option is live and the gallery option is available as well. I can choose from images that exist in the gallery or add an image from the camera. Now that I've added an image, I'd like this image to be interactive. While the selected item is highlighted, I'll get an interactivity option in the top menu that flies out above the image. I'll click on the little star with interactivity that's in the menu above the image. Notice how immediately I'm presented with a list of other slides. This is the jump to navigation. If I want to use this image to jump to slide two, for example, I can simply choose slide two from the options. Now when I go back to my little robot on the top menu, it will show me all of the slides, including the navigation. I'm able to create a complete storyboard, including interactivity and nonlinear navigation, right inside of Captivate Draft.